Hey, I'm Hester from Handmade Home and today I would love to show you how to make a decorative birdhouse. What you need is a template for the birdhouse. You can find this on my website, hestershandmadehome.com and download it. This is the A4 size to make a small birdhouse. But of course you can just photocopy it and um, do it on 200% to make a bigger one. Or you can change the length of the sides to make a taller house. What else you need is card, some decorative paper, uh, tears of magazines, uh, wrapping paper, any bits and bobs you like, cutting mat and a craft knife, ruler, pen, some decorative tape, scissor, little paintbrush, much pot and normal PVA glue. You start by printing out the template and place it on your card. Trace your template with a pen or a pencil. Don't forget to mark the lines you have to score later. Cut out your birdhouse. Don't throw away the long bit of paper you have left because this will make the roof. Use a cutting mat, a hobby knife and your ruler to score the folding lines. Don't press too hard because you don't want to cut it, you just want to score it so it's easier to fold. Now fold the lines you just scored. The long bit you got left that was on one of the sides, just cut it straight, this will make the roof. Now it's time to glue your house together. To protect my table I use a bit of cardboard underneath. Put glue on the folding lines. When you glue it together, I like putting a bit of masking tape around just to make sure the glue dries and the house stays in place. Just wrap it around. Let it dry 15 minutes. Measure your roof as well. Just fold this in half. See if it fits. Add a bit of glue to your roof, little tabs. Place the roof on top. And once again, put a bit of masking tape around just to make sure it sticks in place. So let this dry for 15 minutes. Maybe a good time to have a nice cup of tea. And just wait. Once it's dry, remove the tape and it's time to decorate. Choose the paper you like to use and get your brush and your Mod Pot. And just paint the glue on. Once it's completely covered, put your paper on top and just press it. Use your craft knife or your scissors to make it fit. Don't worry about the hole, we cut it out at the end. Just cover it for now. Once your paper is on, apply the second coat of Mod Podge. Don't worry it goes streaky or white, it will dry clear. If you don't have Mod Podge, I must say I do prefer working with it, but you could use PVA glue as well. Do the same thing with the sides. Place on your paper. And cut it to size. I like leaving the edges a bit longer, because then you can fold it over. I like using different papers for all my sides just to make it a bit more interesting. Of course you can use the same pattern on all sides of your birdhouse. I like as well using little bits to decorate mine. Like I found this little bunny. It'd be cute to place it so it goes around the corner. Don't forget to do the underneath of your roof. And last, attach your roof. Smooth it in place and cut to size. Once you're finished, let the Mod Podge dry. I think it would take around half an hour, depending on how warm your room is. Once your house is dry, try and find a little opening and cut it out. You could use decorative tape, like washi tape, to do some edges. There you go, your paper birdhouse. 
I use mine as decorations on the wall, but why not make one with your children? It would be great for a rainy Sunday afternoon. And you can even add a little bird.